Hey, hey, summer's coming. Here's our Brightside approved checklist of stuff you gotta take with you, plus some tips for you to be fully prepared for your vacation. No matter how hard we try, we sometimes tend to overpack. Who, me? Now, remember one thing the bigger your suitcase is, the more you will try to cram into it. Next time you pack your stuff, try to stick to a 54321 rule. This rule says that for a one week vacation, we can easily limit to five pairs of socks and underwear, four tops, three bottoms, two pairs of shoes, selected by how active you're planning to be on your vacation, and one hat. But I suggest we add one more item to this rule a lightwear rain jacket, like this one. It takes no more space than two pairs of socks, but it can be a lifesaver for unpredictable weather conditions. If you're afraid your clothes will get dirty fast and you'll have to hide those ketchup stains on your vacay photos, there's a solution on how not to do it. Have you heard of on-the-go detergent? These are small packets you can throw in your suitcase and hand wash your clothes in the sink. Binder clips may seem to have nothing to do with vacations. After all, these are office essentials. But let me try to bring you over. They have a ton of applications. Use them to hang up wet clothes, hold broken luggage straps together, you name it. If you still prefer to ignore the 54321 rule and you're struggling to cram a couple more sweatshirts into your suitcase or backpack, plastic bottles are going to help you out. Grab one and cut it in two halves. Next, you're going to need an elastic band. Then roll the sweatshirt you need in a very tight roll and put it in between the two bottle halves. Secure this weird construction with an elastic band and voila! It now takes up way less space in your luggage. But if you're not into DIY solutions, here's another option. Packing cubes to organize clothes. They'll keep all your stuff well organized and you'll easily find what you need without digging through your entire suitcase. Plus, they come in a variety of colors and sizes, so you can separate your clothing by type or color. Well, isn't that neat? Staying connected is essential when traveling, and a portable phone charger can help ensure that your phone stays charged even when you're on the go. Look for a charger with multiple ports so that you can charge your phone and other devices at the same time. Just a quick tip here. Many devices are now switching to Type-C cables, so make sure all your devices are compatible with your portable charger. If you're a frequent traveler, here's a piece of advice for you. Never ever unpack your toiletries. This way you won't forget anything next time you fly. The best solution is to keep a separate kit with all the products you need, like a contact lens case or a toothbrush. But if you still don't have one, it's high time you made up your goodie bag with your essentials. You probably already have small bottles at home. Make sure it has an inscription on them claiming the bottles are not over 3.4 ounces if you plan to take them on board. However, if you have no bottles, there are plenty of them online, like this one. The kit you want to buy should have funnels to pour any shampoo or gel easily. Some of the kits even have scoops, which is great! You can do ice cream! No, sorry. They help portion out a small amount of moisturizer so you won't spoil the entire jar with your finger grease. However, there are a couple of things you better keep in your pockets and not in the toiletry kit, like hand sanitizer and lip balm. While everything's pretty clear with hand sanitizer, lip balm has way more uses than you can imagine. If you have dry cuticles, lip balm will make them soft and pliable again. If you want to clean up your makeup, lip balm and a Q-tip will work wonders, unless it's minty. You can even use it instead of eyebrow gel if you left yours at home, and it can also help tame flyaway hairs. Traveling can be uncomfortable, especially when trying to sleep on a plane or in a car. A compact travel pillow can make a big difference in your comfort level and help you arrive at your destination feeling refreshed. Keeping your belongings safe while traveling is essential, and TSA-approved travel locks can help. These locks can be opened by TSA agents without damaging your luggage, making them a great option for air travel. The world is very diverse, and so are plugs. If you're traveling to a new and faraway destination, don't forget to check what kind of plugs they have there. For example, if you're traveling to the UK, you can stick to this adapter. 
A small spray bottle can significantly upgrade your look. Yes, it can. For example, if your favorite t-shirt tends to wrinkle a lot, you can sort of iron it with a spray bottle. Hang it up and spray it with water. The wrinkles will disappear, and your t-shirt will look fresh and presentable, hopefully. Now let's talk duct tape. Duct tape in your luggage may be pretty stress-relieving. Now picture it. You're going back home with a whole bunch of gifts you bought for your family and friends. Whoops! The zipper on your suitcase just didn't resist the pressure, and it busted. Duct tape is coming to the rescue. Yeah, a suitcase wrapped in duct tape might look somewhat funny, but it's still better than shelling out a pretty penny on a brand new suitcase you weren't planning to buy. Yeah, that does make sense. Laundry bags may come in handy when you separate your dirty clothes from your clean ones. I know, you can do that with plastic bags, but laundry bags are sort of more eco-friendly. Plus, once you come home, they'll spare you some time. You won't need to dig through your suitcase trying to find all the clothes you want to wash. You'll just need to throw the laundry bag into the washing machine. If you're traveling to the seaside, you might want to consider grabbing a quick dry towel like this one. They're usually made of microfiber that dries much quicker than regular cotton. Plus, these guys are pretty low maintenance, as they can be machine washed at up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Next on, dryer sheets. You know, we all sweat, and our feet sweat too, especially if we walk miles and miles exploring a new location. So when you return to the hotel and take your sneakers off, woo! Just put a dryer sheet in each sneaker. It'll absorb the odor, and your sneakers will be ready for more adventures. English is surely an international language, but you may still get into a situation where no one speaks English and you don't have an internet connection to Google Translate what you want to say. To play it safe, create a set of flashcards with essential vocabulary to help you out in basic situations. A favorite snack may be one of the most commonly forgotten by traveler's items. Yeah, they do give you food on the plane, but sometimes you may want to have an alternative. Plus, your snack can even save your budget in case you have a long connection. The prices in the airport lounge are crazy. Even if you travel in summer, it doesn't mean you don't need any warm clothes. Make sure you have a zip hoodie or something of that kind, especially on board. Thing is, you never know if it's going to be cold or hot on the plane. Sometimes it gets pretty stuffy in there, but it can also be freezing cold. Airplane blankets, as well as tray tables, are swarming with germs, so it's better to have your own clothes to keep warm. As for tray tables, I doubt you can bring your own on board, so just don't forget to clean them with an antibacterial wet wipe. And have a safe flight! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.